it's a ah. Uh, After surviving a bout with throat cancer, Jim Sikowski gladly volunteered for a study to help find ways to keep it from coming back. His assignment is to eat suckers made from black raspberries for two years while doctors monitor his progress. The thing that got me most interested was the fact that it uh, had potential as a preventative not as a cure, but as a preventative. Scientists chose black raspberries for a reason. They may not always be plentiful at the store, but they are potent in the laboratory, especially in limiting the growth and spread of esophageal cancer. However, the public uh, has had difficulty at times of the year obtaining black raspberries, and they've asked me whether other berry types might also be cancer preventive. So Dr. Gary Stoner of Ohio State's Comprehensive Cancer Center decided to find out. He took black raspberries and more exotic varieties like acai, noni, and wolfberries and compared them to ordinary blueberries, strawberries, and red raspberries. After turning them into freeze-dried powder and mixing them into the diets of rodents, even he was surprised by what he found. It appears that uh, they all have some cancer preventive potential and that they're may not be nothing magical, if you will, about black raspberries, that other berry types are also effective. That was good news not only to Jim, but to anyone who wants to add lower cost, high impact berries to their diets. Things like strawberries and blueberries are available in most places most of the year and appear to pack the same punch as more exotic and expensive berries. At Ohio State's Comprehensive Cancer Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.